Well, Matt, it's there great to, uh, IT Hub gives you the opportunity to go out actually in the trucks and drive them. Driving again? Yeah, it's not been out the truck in absolutely ages, so it's great. I'm interested to see what this route is. It should be, uh, well, it hopefully proves the sort of technology and the sort of drivability of the vehicles that we're in. I think it's about three miles, so it's more, uh, you know, just gives you a nice flavour of the vehicle. So I think it'll also be good for the alternative fuel vehicles. Yeah, well, I think there's two, there's actually two routes, isn't there? There's a three mile one for the trucks, and then there's a, a, a van one, and uh, so it should be really, really good indeed. The ride and drive for me is, is the deal breaker because it's something that no other exhibition event has done for a long time. Um, you know, where we are with emerging technologies, you know, it, it, we, you've got to drive the thing to understand it. You know? Yeah, well, I think it's good in terms of that because it, static's great, but in the end, you can't actually be bums on seats yeah. and getting out in the seat. And more importantly here, like we said, diesel's fine, we've got some things, but like CNG as well, looking at how that works out, how it, how it drives, and power delivery, and like you say, and then also obviously electric as well. What a great opportunity. You know, we've got quite a few roundabouts, so, yeah. you know, there's going to be a lot of vehicles that are going to be involved in sort of urban delivery, urban distribution, where would actually work in the exact, the, you know, the, the, the correct environment for them, you know? Correct, exactly. And I think that's it. And the distribution vehicles, look at it, we're in an industrial estate. It's perfect for an electric vehicle. This is a great opportunity yeah. for them to have a, have a look at it in its, in its, its own environment. Yeah, it is. It's great.